Welcome to Elected, I'm your host, Luke Radel. Tonight, we're gonna to be discussing the Bipartisan Infrastructure Framework, or BIF for short. I'm Claudia Tenney, and I approve this message. Oh, you've gotta be kidding me. Over the weekend, our Congresswoman, the person representing us to the rest of the nation, tweeted, quote, I would like to inform Biden and Fauci that regardless of what they say, Americans are celebrating Christmas. Are they though? Because it's currently early October, uh, which I'm pretty sure is fairly well established as spooky season. Uh, listen, Claudia, you're playing to a favorable crowd here, okay? I listen to Michael Buble the moment I get home from trick-or-treating, but October 3rd is a little early, even for me. Now, I like how Claudia acts as if She's delivering some sort of PSA to Dr. Fauci and President Biden as though they're closely monitoring her Twitter feed to see what she says. But obviously, and unfortunately for her, Dr. Fauci and President Biden have not yet responded to this tweet until tonight. Joining us live from the congressional baseball game is President Joe Biden. Come on now, I'm so happy to be here. How's everybody doing tonight, huh? You guys love Joe Biden? Let's hear it. Yeah, you know, all them cheers. Come on now. <laughs> And from a remote part of the latest state to experience a COVID surge, Alaska, is Dr. Anthony Fauci. Thank you, Luke. I'm freezing my buns off out here, so let's do this. Let's start with you, Mr. President. Do you want to cancel Christmas? Show me Biden canceling Christmas, not in a million years. Come on, folks, that's a bunch of malarkey. You know, I love the holly, the jolly holly, uh, excuse me, uh, all this great time of year and, uh, and leaving out carrots for Santa's cookies and, and, and the elves eating the reindeer and it's just fantastic. And uh, I got uh, my son Hunter a new laptop uh, because he said he lost his whole one. And I said, come on, let's get real here. Here's the deal, we'll get you a new laptop. It's no problem, this is America. That's who we are, we're Americans. Mm-hmm. But Dr. Fauci, many people have criticized your statements on Face the Nation over the weekend. Let's take a look. We can gather for Christmas or it's just too soon to tell. You know, Margaret, we, it's just too soon to tell. We've just got to concentrate on continuing to get those numbers down and not try yeah. to jump ahead by weeks or months and say what we're going to do at a particular time. What is your response to people like Claudia Tenney who claim you're trying to prevent Americans from celebrating Christmas? Let me be clear. I wasn't at all saying that people shouldn't celebrate Christmas with their families. I was just saying I don't know what those celebrations are going to look like with the potential COVID surge numbers. I mean, I don't have a crystal ball here. If I did, I probably would have said many fewer complimentary things about Andrew Cuomo, and I probably wouldn't have thrown out that first pitch of the Nationals game. However, hopefully by December, the COVID numbers will be just like that first pitch. Straight down in the dirt. Oh, come on, Doc. That was a great pitch, all right? It's kind of like my buddy Joe Manchin over in the Senate. You know, he hope he goes right down the middle, but instead he swings wide right at the last minute. What are you going to do about it? Come on, folks. Come on. It's a fair point. But Dr. Fauci, what can Americans do to stay safe if COVID cases do spike around the holiday times? Well, we here at the NIH are working on a few proposals now for holiday gatherings. For example, we have the turkey-based reform of the Pfizer vaccine to protect you and your loved ones at Christmas dinner. Or for our Jewish friends, we have the Hanukkah menorah with Johnson & Johnson booster shots. And those people are definitely gonna need all eight boosters. And for the little ones, in place of wrapping presents and putting them under the tree, you can instead give them boxes of surgical masks to prepare them for another year of school in masks. Wow, you guys have really thought this through. Thanks so much for being here, Dr. Fauci and Mr. President. Are you asleep right now? Huh? Huh? Oh, I'm live from New York on Saturday night. That's not what this is. Oh, really now? Come on now, what is it? If you want to donate to the Lime for Luke Pediatric Cancer Fund benefiting Galasano Children's Hospital in Syracuse, please follow the link in the description. Thank you again for all your support.